have you always wanted to fertilize your lawn through your sprinkler system? Well, guess what? There's a device that does that, and I'm gonna show you that next. So let's get started. So welcome everyone, my name is Joe, I'm the Lawn Warrior, this is the Organic Lawn Warrior channel. And like I said earlier, if you've always wanted to fertilize your lawn through your irrigation system or through a drip irrigation system like I had for my lawn and for my garden, this is the perfect device for you. It's a fertigation system, it's made by Easy Flow. Um, it's an awesome device. This one here is a one gallon uh, uh, tank here. Um, basically, what you do, you fill up uh, pretty much any kind of fertilizer you want. Um, I have some RGS in this uh, right now, um, but Easy Flow, they do make their own fertilizer as well. Um, but you can pretty much put anything in there except for iron. Um, when I say except for iron, what I mean is if you're going to put this through your sprinkler system, uh, make sure that if your sprinkler system does overlap anything on a concrete surface or a driveway or cement, uh, we know iron stains those surfaces. So if you are gonna hook this up to your sprinkler system like I have uh, for mine uh, here at my house, uh, make sure that you don't have any iron in that fertilizer that you're gonna be spreading out in your yard. So the Easy Flow, it's very easy to set up. It comes with a manual. Uh, it's very easy to follow. It's really not that many steps to do. Uh, like I said earlier, this is their one gallon tank that they uh, sent me. Um, it comes with these black uh, lines as well with two shutoff valves and it comes with the adapter. I'll show you that in a minute in more detail, but just a quick overview for right now. Basically, the black line is your line coming in from your water. Uh, that's your in line. That's your water main water come, source coming in. It's going down in the tank um, and then it comes out and then it goes through this clear line. That's your fertilizer is going to go through that clear line and then out to wherever you have it attached to. I have mine right now attached to my sprinklers in my yard, so that's gonna go out to my yard. If you had a drip irrigation, it's gonna go out to your drip irrigation, or you can even hook it up to your hose, um, and I'll show you that today as well. Um, but with a clear line, we know that RGS, it's a dark uh, brownish color, so as that line, it'll turn a uh, dark brownish color, and basically that shows you that the for, uh, fertilizer is going through the line. So now I'm gonna go a little bit more detail how it's connected to my system and how you could do it at home. So for the next part of this video, I'm gonna rem remain out of frame just so I can show you guys in more detail how the system works. Uh, my system, I have a DIY manifold system here. Um, I made this myself. Um, it's a DIY underground system, but I showed them how I have mine, my main water source, which is this dark green hose here. It goes into a uh, three quarter pipe main line out of my house. I showed them how it works, so they actually sent me this setup here, but they do have a setup as well for a regular in-ground system, um, but this worked for my system the best. But basically what happens is, like I said, that black line here is your main water source, so that main water line here is basically the water's going in, then it's going up through the black, like I said before, it's going back to the system, and then it Basically, the, fer the fertilizer that you have in here, I have the RGS, it's gonna feed back through, and then it's gonna go through my main manifold down here, and then gonna, it's gonna go out to the various valves that I have here out into my system. Uh, and another thing with this system, and I'm gonna hold it up into the camera here, basically there's, a, there's about, let me see here, there's four different settings on here. They have a slow, which is a one, they have another slow, which is a two, and then they have a fast, setting here as well and basically where how you set this is how fast the fertilizer is going to come out of the system um, basically you could pretty much set it to whatever you want i have it down to the slow um, but you can set it to pretty much however you want how fast you want it to feed your lawn you definitely want to have a backflow preventer connected to this just in case if any fertilizer gets back into that main line um, so it's they're very inexpensive. Uh, you can pick them up pretty much anywhere, Home Depot or Lowe's. I'll leave a picture of the one that I have up here on the screen. Um, I think I got this one at, I think, Home Depot or Lowe's, probably one of them. So for the next part, I have my Ratio app open on my phone. I just turn on my sprinklers and the fertilizer is running through the system, the RGS. And as you can see, it's gotten, it's become this darker uh, brown color, just like RGS is. That means that the RGS is flowing through the system. 
And just remember when you first fill this tank up, it's gonna be the most concentra concentrated when it comes out in the beginning and then it's gonna get less concentrated as the fertilizer, the RGS goes through the system and it nears its uh, dilution rate uh, going down. Um, so just one thing to note for that. And then like I said, you can always turn this up to the fast and then it really becomes a dark uh, brown color. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the camera in a little bit closer so you guys can see it run through the system. So like I said, it's, it's, it's clear right now. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn my sprinklers back on again, just to show you guys. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that up on the camera, but it's starting to flow through now, the RGS, and it's starting to become darker. And then as you turn your dial up here to the fast mode, you can see it com becomes even darker because it's pushing through even more RGS out to your sprinklers. Before I show you how to hook this up to your hose, I, I just wanted to point it out. I'm gonna leave a link below. The Lawn Tools actually did a video on how they hooked it up to a sprinkler system, a regular like oscillating uh, sprinkler system. I think he had a tripod uh, kind, um, but I'm gonna leave a link to the Lawn Tools video below. Um, so you could hook this up to a regular hose or a regular well, hose when I'm gonna show you in a second, but you can hook this up to a regular um, oscillating sprinkler or any kind of uh, manual sprinkler uh, to use as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. So if you don't have a sprinkler system and you have something like this in your yard, you could also hook this up to that as well. So what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm gonna shut off my water source here uh, to my sprinkler with just this turn right here. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna turn off the actual uh, valves that they send you, the shut off valves on the system itself. It's just two little uh, black shut off valves. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this off of my manual uh, sprinkler system here, my manifold, and I'm gonna hook it up to my hose and show you how you can use a regular hose to spray out your uh, fertilizer or your RGS like I had in my system out in your yard. So as you can see here, I picked up the tank, I moved it a little bit closer to my house, and then I just connected the main connection here up to my main water source that comes out for my hoses. Um, this is my drip irrigation over here. So I could actually connect this up over here if I wanted to, like I was saying earlier, for my drip irrigation. But for now, I wanna show you how you can use your hose. Basically, here's my lead that hose that goes to my retractable uh, hose compartment. And then like I said earlier, the black line is feeding the water's coming down the main black line water's going into the tank and then your rgs or your fertilizer is coming out and then it's going to go through your lead hose out to your hose so there's my lead hose and then it's going to my retractable uh, hose reel right here and i'm going to show you what it looks like when it comes out of your hose so i have it connected to my hose now uh, just note that however long your hose is it's going to take a few minutes for that concentrate or that fertilizer, RGS, whatever you're putting in your device, uh, it's gonna take a few minutes for it to come out through your system. My system here is 100 foot, um, so that hose is you know pretty long, So and it's only a half inch, so it takes a little bit longer for it to go through. Um, so just remember, however long your uh, hose uh, reel is, it's gonna take a few minutes to come out. But eventually, when it does come out, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna see that brown collar come out because obviously I have RGS in mind and RGS has that uh, brown color. So that's how you know that your concentrate is coming out. Um, I have it on a strong setting right now, but what's really cool about having a hose as opposed to your regular hose end sprayers is you know you have your concentrate in the mixture right here and you're basically going out in your yard with this into your yard and spraying out in your yard. You don't have to have this anymore. Your mixture is back at that source right there close to your hose. Um, so what that's really cool about this easy flow device is you can keep it in one spot and you can just have your hose reel. Mine's 100 foot. It covers pretty much my whole entire 5,000 square feet of my yard. So I can easily just retract this hose out and I can just go out in my yard and spray the various spots in my yard that I need to put down my RGS in um, if you don't have a sprinkler system per se. Um, so that's what's really cool. And what's really cool is you can have it on a shower setting pretty much what's very similar to what they have on these hose end sprayers here and you could just go in spray your yard and you're you're pretty much watering it in as well because you're using your hose and just like the hose end sprayers you're pretty much watering it in as you're going with your regular hose 
So that's a really cool uh, option. And that's what's really cool about that hookup up there is you could put it onto multiple things and you can use it out in your yard for various applications. And one of the last things that I'll point out before I show you how to refill this device up and finish the video, um, if you wanna know how much concentrate you have left in your system and you don't wanna open that up yet, um, Alan Hain did a video on this as well and I'm gonna leave a link to his video uh, below as well. Um, he had a really cool trick. You basically take a white bucket and then you just fill up your bucket. And if you can see, if you can still see some of that brown concentrate come through, that no, that means that you know that you still have some concentrate left at a good rate. Um, if you have that dark color in there and it's not uh, a very white, you know, clear water color, you know that you have enough concentrate left uh, in your system to pump out to wherever you're going in your yard. So for the last part, I want to show you how you open your canister and fill it up with concentrate or fertilizer. So when you first get your device, what you want to do is, is you want to get your lines here and you want to clip them. You can use a pair of scissors. You All you do is just clip them and you can put the shutoff valves on both sides, the clear line and the black line. Then when you go to fill up your tank, and especially when you first get your tank, obviously it's not pressurized. But right now mine is connected to my system, so it's pressurized. So what you want to do is shut off those valves, those shutoff valves, and then you want to disconnect it from your top cap here. Um, like I said, uh, you have in and out. The outside has a green little tab here. All you're gonna do is push that in and it can get a little bit messy because remember this tank is pressurized. And then the blue side is your inside and you just do the same thing, pull it out. Then the last step is unscrew the top here. And then basically there's an O-ring in there that keeps uh, this top cap pressurized with the tank itself you want to make sure that stays in there and then you want to fill this all the way to the top every time with concentrate or you could either uh, put in a little bit of water as well to get that filled all the way up to the tank uh, at the top here and then all you're going to do is once you have it filled put your cap screw your cap back on and then make sure you connect the lines the same way that you took them off you want to do the blue side the in which is the black line and then the clear line is your outline. I hope you found today's video helpful. I will leave product links uh, below uh, for their device. Uh, the Easy Flow here, again, this is the one gallon device uh, by Easy Flow. Um, this thing, I can tell it's made very nice. It's made very sturdy, very strong. I've been using this for a couple weeks now and I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, no leaking, uh, nothing like that. So I'm really glad they sent this to me and I'm gonna be able to use this for the fall overseed. So again, the product links, uh, will be in the video description uh, below. So with Easy Flow, their customer service is awesome. Um, they get back to me right away with any questions I've had on the device. They got back to me instantly, uh, which is awesome. Um, it's very hard to find customer service uh, like that today. So with that, I've been able to work out a product giveaway with this device. So Easy Flow has been really generous and been able to work with me for a product giveaway. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna give away one to a lucky subscriber. They, you must be subscribed to my channel and also you have to comment below on this video. So for example, what they would like you to do is comment something like this saying uh, how you would use the Easy Flow in your yard. So you could say something like, I wanna use the Easy Flow to fertilize my grass. Uh, I'm gonna use it through my hose to make my life a lot easier, or you could say, I'm gonna use it in my garden, uh, to feed my shrubs, through my drip irrigation, whatever. Uh, they just ask you to comment below on how you would use the device, uh, and also be subscribed to my channel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this open for two weeks after this video is published, and we're gonna leave it open again. Two weeks, at the end of the two weeks, we're gonna pick one lucky winner, and we'll be you will be notified, and you will get sent uh, one of the, their devices uh, to your home so again two weeks it's open for so make sure you comment below make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out and good luck to everyone and i hope whoever does get one of the, their uh, easy flow fertigation systems love it loves it like i do um, i really love this thing and i can't wait to use it for the fall overseed time